I think we just have the track figured out, really. Um, the, the air and the tune-up seems to work here, and I don't even really know why. But uh, we, we apply it other places, and it doesn't seem to jive as well as this place. But the, the people and, and the track, and I think maybe just driving up the West Coast uh, for that three days between Sonoma and Seattle makes me smarter. You go rounds when you don't win. And uh, last year, you, could, you should have been the final. You red-lighted. Yes. But, um, you had a good car again. And you say it's, you know, it's the air and the track itself, but the track's been known to have a lot of bumps in it. Oh. And obviously, you've got to be able to get, you know, traverse those bumps. And I mean, what's your secret there? Well, but really, I think it's just all the old-time racing that we used to do. You know, you're an old-time racer. You remember the days you'll truck down through there. Maybe you grab a little handful of brake down there at seven or 800 feet that nobody knows about. You know, or maybe you got something going on with the chassis that nobody knows about. we got some tricks up our sleeve with those kind of things. And then it kind of shows when we get other places because we don't run as well as we should. But uh, lately, I've had a fast car that I've had a hard time making slow. I used to have a slow car that I really had a little bit of trouble making fast. But a slow car works a lot better at a place like this one. Like you say, it's a little bumpy. But we'll see. You know, you look at the field in general with, uh, with all the multiple car teams, and a guy like me is, could end up 11th or 12th real easy, and that's what you don't want, right? Uh, you know, Cruz, he, he got his, a good momentum going earlier in the year, so he's stuck in there pretty good. But like you say, there's a couple guys that are only two or three rounds away from Jack and I that if they have a couple bad weekends and Jack and I have a good one, well, we could end up 8th and ninth, 10th, and they may end up 11th or 12th, so who knows. But I don't know. We're very excited about being in the position we're in. I sure like being in our position a lot better than Jack's, I can tell you that, because we like being in 10th. We don't like being in 11th. And after qualifying was all said and done, Tim Wilkerson in the final session was able to get into the top half of the field. If he's going to race Jack Beckman in eliminations today, it won't be until the final round.